Welcome back everybody. What I'm going to talk about in this video um, is the engine cradle. Now we're kind of focusing on the front of the vehicle being damaged, but it's really no difference in the rear. The only big difference is suspension and the cradle. Now the cradle, front wheel drive vehicle, is going to mount into here, may come back, come this way, and that's going to hold suspension, lower control arms, it's going to hold the engine up, and I'm going to tell you when you do your measure, use your measuring system, I never measure these cradle bolts and I'm going to tell you why. Some of these on certain models of cars, it could be a loose cage nut in there in the back side of the frame, inside the frame that these bolts go into. That cradle can be shifted around. There's a little bit of slop in there. The bolts are long and they go through those rubber mounts. They could be cocked a little bit. It's not a real good place to measure off of. Um, you've usually got holes right here in the bottom of the frame. There'll be attachment points for your measuring system on the rebar usually. It could be the lower core support. Could be the welded in bracket, may have some holes in here to measure. That's always a better place. I never measure the cradle bolts. And I've seen guys do it, and a lot of times, you know, you got engine shields and stuff underneath here, and maybe a shield covers up these holes and they don't want to get to them, and they'll measure off of those. Well, that bolt could be bent, the cradle could be shifted. When this assembly, this unibody is being built in a factory, the jig that it goes into to make sure it's perfectly square. There's no cradle in there. They're not using this. They're using these points all during the frame for it to be locked in so it's nice and square. Now, if you got hit, this vehicle got hit this way, and it's over, and this is just a rough estimate, usually four or five millimeters, you can usually grab that and just bring it back without too much trouble. If it's over that, all these cradle bolts need to be loosened up. If it's actually quite a bit. It could be 10 millimeters, 15 millimeters over. Going this way. The best thing to do, take these front two bolts out, put some blocks of wood underneath here to support it, and let that frame come back without this binding it up. And I know what guys are going to say, because I've heard it before, well that cradle was tightened up when it got hit, so I'm not going to mess with it because it'll pull back with no problem and it's still tight. You know, it, it moved when it was tight, it'll move back when it was tight. And I'm going to tell you it won't. You're going to be fighting it. And I'm going to show you a quick demonstration right here and I hope it'll convince you. Okay, to show you a little demonstration here. This is probably the simplest way I can, I can figure out to explain this. So let's just say, for example, this vise here is the frame on a car and this is the cradle piece of tape on there just so you can see how they line up. Now those are bolted tight together. This here hammer is going to represent either the force of the impact from the collision or the frame machine pulling it back out. This is the power to either push it or pull it in. So on your frame machine it's just pushing, pushing, and I can't get that to budge. But that's not how it got hit. When it was going down the road it got hit in a nice hard shock and that will cause that cradle and frame to slide. Now you usually can't, you can't push it back no matter how hard you push on it, but that sudden shock is what does it. So that's why I say loosen that cradle up, let that frame slide back into place and then tighten it up. Okay, that might have been an oversimplification of that, but I think you get the point. You can see what happens when that cradle is locked into place. So like I said, if it's three, four, five millimeters over, you could probably pull it, no issue. You get up 10, 15 millimeters over, that cradle's gonna give you a problem if it's tightened up. So get the bolts out, at least loosen them. Once you get your frame squared up and it's where you want it, then just tighten that cradle up. That's gonna lock that frame into place. So you'll have a lot better results doing it this way than trying to fight that. So anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to this channel. And also, if you have any comments, send them. If there's something you don't like, you do like, you want to see in a future video, let me know. Thanks for watching.